I'm sorry. I said, how are you? I am living the dream. Hey. hey, hey. <laughs> uh, um, I appreciate you. We really do. Um, and no it means a lot that you know, you're taking the time for us. So, oh, okay. All right, we'll make it. Uh, I won't, I'll try not to take up too much of your time. Um, we just have a couple of questions. And um, the first one is, uh, what has been your favorite Warp Tour memory? My favorite Warp Tour memory. Oh man, there's been tons of them. Uh, one of my favorite ones was Warren from the Vandals, and they were doing the uh, "Don't Stop Me" by Queen, and he just like climbs up on the rafters with the microphone and guitar, and just like you know, just went nuts, and the whole crowd went crazy. That's one of my favorite favorite memories. Fucking killer! Nice. Um. What has Warp Tour meant to you? Oh, it's you know, it's it's kind of turned into a you know the the event is almost bigger than than the music. It's just a theme to everybody just wants to go. They don't even care who plays. And they care who plays, but it's it's about uh, you know just everybody kind of you know, uniting for a common good of having a good time. And he's good twice in one sentence. That's bad, but <laughs> and uh, it's it's a great camaraderie with the band. I mean, we, you know, everybody hangs. It's it's just really good atmosphere. It's a great value. You get so many bands for a low ticket price, and you know, it's just really uh, kind of a. It's been one of those things. It's it really defined a, a generation of, of style of music and, and lifestyle. Yeah. Awesome. Um, do you have a message that you would like to convey to Kevin, Kevin Lyman? I'm sorry. One, one, more, one second. One second. I'm mega tasking. Sorry. All right. Go ahead. Oh, one more time. I just got to reply to one. Oh, 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 oh. One email. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. All right, go ahead. I'm done now. I, you have all of me. All right, cool. Now. We just have uh, like three more left. Um, uh, do you have a do you have a fun Fletcher story? A fun Fletcher story? Uh, uh, like picking a fight with uh, who was it? Uh, Kid Rock. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah, we got that one. Uh, <laughs> you got that one, Fletcher. Uh, I remember he was, he was, there was this kid that was going, going out, like kind of intern kid, and, and Fletcher would tormented him the whole fucking tour, like made him do horrible things and berated him. And at the end of the tour, he's like, you, you, did, you did good, kid. And he uh, did you put it with my shit here. And he, had, he took his like Rolex watch off of the wrist and gave it to him. No shit? Yeah. That's awesome. That's a fucking yeah. awesome. That's fucking i mean that really that defines right there you know what i mean like there's so that is him in a nutshell <laughs> yep um, i mean the guy you know he, he's a nutcase but he's got a big heart yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's like me <laughs> and he knows when he's gone overboard and he, you know he waited to make it right and uh you know it was, it was pretty cool uh do you have a message for kevin hey, kevin no, it's like, yeah, thanks for everything. You, uh, you know, you're, how many other concert promoters are up every morning setting up tents, helping with the rigging, when shit's going down, getting in there, you know, when there's hurricanes blowing, whatever storms, and he's in there with, with the, you know, with the crew, and, you know, he's just, he's a hands-on guy, and you don't see that a lot. So much respect to Kevin. I remember when he first started out, just like state managing and stuff, and it really turned into a great thing. And he's just, he donates a lot. Thank you for your donations to music and all those other organizations. You know, he just he puts his money where his mouth is, and it's very good these these days. That's awesome. Uh, and my last yeah. <clears throat> my last uh, question is: Do you have a fun story or a funny story that you would like to share? A funny story. Uh, oh, there's so many. What do I think is a funny story? 
I can't remember the name of the band this one guy was in. Damn it. Oh, and that was name as well. Oh, damn. But I took this guy's, uh, like, mini bike, and we stole it. He thought it was stolen, and then it reappeared back at his bus, and we had taken it, and it took, like, uh, you know, kind of like the stuff you spray in your hair, like, uh, you know, temporary temporary hair dye. We painted the whole thing pink. He was so bummed. He thought we really painted the his scooter pink. <laughs> Uh, I, I can't remember the fucking name of the band though. Oh damn! But yeah, he was like almost in tears. Like, <laughs> and then I mean, took a took a water bottle and and uh, pulled it over, and it, it came right off. You know, was he a younger? He had to clean it off and stuff. Younger guy? Younger? Not, yeah, not like really young, but you know, he'd been on some more tours, but. You know, there's a lot of hazing going on between <laughs> bands, a lot, of, a lot of camaraderie. And, well, yeah, he, just a look on his face, that poor guy. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Dude, Greg, thank you so much. We really appreciate you. And, um, you know, it, 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 this one truly means a lot. So thank you. No problem. I hope I, hope I made some sense here. <laughs> you did. You did good, man. <laughs> All right, here's, All right thanks. Here's Danielle. Okay. <laughs> 